It is genuinely now quite hard to see how Kwasi Kwarteng, the Chancellor, makes it through to November either as Chancellor or without giving further clarity to how he is going to fund his £50 billion tax cut plan. I've seen a smattering of unnamed Tory sources this afternoon saying Kwarteng is finished. Uh, Keir Starmer has this afternoon called for Parliament to be recalled. A reminder, it sat for one full week in the last 14. We'll explain what the Bank of England has done today in just a sec. The, uh, the reasons why they had to intervene in the way they did are starting to become clear, just how close it may have got to seeing your pension collapse. But on the political aspect of all of this, I, I have to say, I think we are now entering an extinction level event for the Conservative Party. They have gone uh, out seven million miles to the non-threatening asteroid and managed to divert it straight into Earth's path. The government has trashed its economic credibility. Liz Truss has just spent a full term's political capital in about 24 hours. MPs are furious. MPs are frightened. In normal times, a chancellor would have resigned or been sacked by now. And I do think that there is a genuine possibility of that happening in a number of scenarios, which we might come on to later. But if this farcical bunch of chances preside over a 60% rise in your mortgage payments, if they crash the market, if they expose your pension savings to massive losses, there is going to be hell to pay. The most honest thing the government could do now is U-turn. Stop everything until they've worked out any semblance of a plan for this borrowing for tax cuts, until they've managed to explain clearly and candidly the trade-offs that are involved, including inevitably cuts to public spending, unless and until they've got that plan ready to roll out and be explained, they need to U-turn. There is, there is no way that Kwasi Kwarteng and the bank can wait until the end of November to have this plan worked out. Because the single biggest reason why all of this has happened is not because of Labour or Ukraine or previous wobbles in bond markets. It's because the people who told you that they were ready to govern from day one acted like overexcited children and ran around doing whatever they wanted without thinking of any of the consequences. The free market chancellor has reportedly told currency speculators to please stop betting against the pound. <laughs> the, the bank is buying government debt to stop the bond market. That means your pension from collapsing. The IMF is telling the government to stop. The Prime Minister's gone AWOL. It is an absolute total disgrace. And unless they U-turn, I'm not sure how many people can afford to wait until the next election to protect your household finances. I will vote tomorrow for anyone who can stop my mortgage going up by four, five, six percent. I don't care who they are. 